Aye. So this week I'm sharing my takeaways, if you like, from finally succumbing to COVID-19. Two years, nine months. And I actually thought I was probably going to continue to not um, to not to uh, get the virus. But there you go. Finally, it caught up with me. And some of the takeaways, one of the takeaways was to expect the unexpected. I did not expect to wake up on a Friday morning, early hours of the morning, feeling like I did without absolutely no indication the previous day, no really, no scratchy throat, no runny nose, nothing felt pretty much okay, apart from a bit tired, and then woke up just feeling the worst I can remember ever, ever feeling. And luckily I, I was prepared um, that there was a rapid antigen test available. I had plenty of uh, hydrating fluids available, paracetamol, um, and yeah, that's all we can do really. We, When it comes to change, and this was a pretty major change, um, it wasn't what I expected, it wasn't what I'd prepared and planned for, um, and when that happens to us, we just have to do the best we can to prepare for it, be ready for what we might not see coming around the corner. Um, we might not get all our preparation right, but at least we can do as much as, as we can. And we also have to think about um, what good can come out of the change. Yeah, the unexpected happens to us, so rather than get overwhelmed and consumed by it, what good is going to come out of it? Now, I could look at this to say, well, I know that I will now be probably immune for a couple of months, if not more. Um, it's now, you know, late November, which means over Christmas, I'm not going to have to stress so much about gatherings, um, etc., as I would have done prior to contracting the virus. Um, so there is good that we can find from the unexpected.